everybody, what's going on? It's your favorite fitness expert, Bashir Ahmed here. And today I'm bringing you a workout design to help you shred that lower body. So just think about it, amazing quads and hamstrings, glutes and calves, all in one workout. So if you're a beginner, this may be a little extreme for you, but try to hang in there and just see if it works. If not, just work your way up to it, doing some other exercises. If you've been doing some workouts for a minute, hop in there, do the best that you possibly can. And then if you're extremely advanced, hey, shoot, do the workout twice. <laughs> Whichever you decide to choose, it's gonna be an amazing workout for you. And we're gonna do it in an interval style format. So that's basically you do the exercise for 30 seconds, then you're gonna rest for 30 seconds, and then you move on to the next exercise, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started with a short warm up. I do have a timer clock to the side, so we are gonna stay on time, guys. No crazy counting from Bashira. Let's get started. All right, team, so I almost forgot. Let me get the timer started. Our first warm up move is going to be inchworms. So let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Now you all with the warm up, we're not gonna stop in between the moves, okay? Cause you can do these as slowly as you need to. There's no weights, so. No need to do the rest. So just 30 seconds. Walking out to that plank position with that inchworm. All right, give me one more full one. All right, good job, guys. All right, moving right into step out squat. Let's step out, back to center. Just really warming up those thighs and glutes. Raising the heart rate, getting ready for a kick butt workout. Halfway there. And right after the step out squats, we're gonna have a shift lunge with a twist. So I'm gonna take my time in setting it up and doing the first couple, all right? Legs wide, hands on the waist. We're gonna twist going down towards the knee or the toe. So with that lunge, all right? Or you could keep it straight, just like this, with just a slight twist in the upper body. Your choice. Especially if you hear those knees creaking a little bit. And if they are hurting, this may not be the best workout for you today, okay? Because it is lower body, so we will utilize those knee joints a little bit, even though it'd be nice and safe. All right, guys. So. Go ahead and give me four breaths in. Exhale, three more, two more. Make this your last one. All right, fantastic guys. Go ahead and grab a set of weights. And I'm gonna take about like a minute to go ahead and set this up and get us right back on track. So the first move is gonna be a squat into an overhead press. So we're gonna squat, taking the weights in front of us. We're gonna bring the weights up to our shoulders. We're gonna press overhead and bring it back down, all right? So squat, bring it up, press and down, all right? Then right after that, because we're not gonna have a lot of time, we'll go into the second move, which is a deadlift, slight bend in the knees, bring it up, Bicep curl and down. And I may switch to a heavier weight when we do the deadlifts and the curls. You can stick with the same weights or you can go up too. So right now I have eights. Please feel free to start with a smaller weight. If you've been working out, still keep it kind of small because this is our first round of activity. So keep that in mind. Even if you're really strong, go to the lighter of your weight load. And let's go. Squat, bring it up, press, and down, squat. Really try to push the butt behind you and keep the knees from rolling forward over those toes, all right? It's really easy just to press the weight forward. And then you're not even working the glutes any longer. It's your last one. All right, 30 seconds. Catch your breath, okay? Now remember I said you can be a beginner for this one. We have enough of a rest. The exercise is really not that complicated. So 
You can be a beginner. You can pause here and there if needed to figure out some of the activity. So right now, you guys, I have 15s. So I step mine up about twice the amount of weight. You do not have to do that. I just don't have any 10s around. <laughs> All right, guys, so get ready. Three, two, one. Over. Bring it up. All right. So you see I'm keeping a slight bend in those knees so I don't lock out the knee joint. You never want to hyperextend that joint. Because as soon as you do, you stop working the hamstring muscles, which is what you're focused on in the deadlift. Give me one more. Squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. Up, down. All right, guys. So we have 30 seconds. Put those to the side. Then we're going to jump right into the cardio round. So with the cardio round, first thing is going to be regular mountain climbers. Just do them with me. Then we're going to go into a plank jack. Do those with me as well. Still only 30 seconds. Nothing too crazy. Um, then we'll go into our next resistance round. So think resistance, cardio, resistance, cardio, then repeat everything else again. Okay? Let's get ready to set up and let's go. Map props. Keep your weight forward over your wrist. And feel free to just tap if the hop is a little much for you. Okay? But try to keep the movement going as long as your wrists are okay. Okay, almost there, guys. You have five, four, three, two, one. All right, 30 seconds. Then we're going to go right back down. So you notice your wrists are a little tight, feeling a little discomfort. Go ahead and work that out for a moment. And if you notice you have a lot of wrist issues, then you can always do some of the moves on your knuckles. If it's still painful, then you may not be able to do this type of movement at this time. You could have some wrist, serious wrist issues going on and you don't want to cause injury. So let's hop it up. Plank jacks, let's go. So as the name suggests, hopping out in the jumping jack while in a plank. Good job guys, halfway there. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good job guys. Grab water for me too. We're moving right on along until our next resistance round, which is going to be on our hands and our knees. Right, so first move is going to be a kickback. All right, second move up here, and then we have to switch legs. So if you're ready, three, two, one. Now what we're going to do with these to make it a little different, we're not going to do the wrist, okay? So you're going to go from the kickbacks right into the side left leg lift, then right to the other side. They're not really that hard to you. I don't think you need a rest. You'll be okay. Four, three, two, one. To the side, take it up. All right, so we're really working that outer part of the leg. If it's hurting you to be up, go ahead and put one elbow down and really activate your core. Try not to stop. Trust me, I know it's burning, but hang in there if you can. Good job, guys. And we have five, four, three, two, one. All right, other side, right away. Remember, no rest. Ooh, four. Allergies are kicking my butt today. Eight. Ooh. Halfway there. Keep kicking. Three, two, one. I'm gonna have to adjust slightly. Take the right one up. Bring it out if you need to. 
Get that leg up, toes pointed forward. Halfway there. Five seconds. Two, one. Woohoo! My butt's on fire. <laughs> but it's a good fire. It's a good, good burner. You no, know, I'm sculpting and I'm making something happen back here. That's what we want. We all need something happening on back here. So you all now we're going to our last round, which of course is going to be another cardio. So first move we're going to have is going to be in and out. You just do those with me. And then second one is going to be plank moles, bringing the feet around to the side. And I'll face forward for you, okay? So right here. So hopping in and out. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Oh, y'all, my allergies are kicking my butt right now. It's okay. I'm gonna finish strong with you guys. So this is our thirty-second rest. Next move, we're gonna do moguls. So we're gonna bring the legs around from plank, like this, back to plank, okay, then other side, all right, 30 seconds, get ready to set it up, in five, four, three, two, one, let's go, all right, try to bring those feet around to the hands if possible, Halfway there. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Okay, see, not bad, right? That was nothing. So, if you're feeling okay, go ahead and take about a minute. Do the entire round again. Just press play again. And if you're not going to do it again, go ahead and follow me for this cool down. All right. So we're going to start huh, just sitting here with our glutes on our heels. We we'll take the way the arms all the way up toward the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Give me three more of those. Exhale, two more, make this your last one, and big exhale. All right, so we're stretching out the lower body, but we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to do it all on the floor. So let's go ahead and go into a runner stretch. All right, so one foot out in front, other knee bent. Have the other foot in a position that's comfortable to where it doesn't hurt the knee. And let's reach towards the leg that's extended or the toe on the leg that's extended. And try to bring your head down towards your knee. Only go as far as you can. And hold it there, just breathe. Keep holding, keep breathing. Good job, guys. Same thing, other side. All right, take it down. And let's hold it. Deep breathing in and out. Go as low as you can without straining. No pressure in the knees. All right, good job, guys. Okay, so let's take the legs around to one side. Hips are stacked. You're gonna take the top leg, bring the heel towards the butt, all right? And just pull that in as much as you can. Okay? Stretching the front of the leg with a quadricep. All right, so keep holding here and breathe. Okay, good job, guys. Perfect. 
And let's take it to the other side. Top leg, bring that heel to the butt, and let's hold it. Keep breathing. Really great, job. really great job today, guys. I know it was short, but still try to push through with no breaks. So that's kind of like what you're working up to. Maybe at first you gotta press stop a few times, but your goal, no breaks. Get all the way through, get everything done with good form without having to stop, all right? You can do that pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and press the knees open. Hold them down and just breathe. All right, let's go ahead and take the top leg over the other, just gently cross, and you're just gonna pull that leg to you, all right? Bring that knee towards you. You can put the other hand on the floor. Just a gentle twist. You're not going deep as if you were doing yoga or something because we're not that warm yet. It's not that kind of movement to prepare you for that. So just bring it in slightly. You should feel a nice stretch all through your piriformis or that deep muscle that's in your butt goes underneath all the other ones and it gets really tight, especially when sitting. This will stretch that one nicely. Okay, and then switch it up. All right, and same thing. Pull it in. And you guys, if bending the bottom leg is too much, always feel free to straighten it, okay? If you're more flexible, this probably isn't enough, but if you're new to flex or stretching, this will be perfect. And just twist and hold. Three, two, one. All right, you guys, last thing. Let's take those arms overhead one more time and bring them down towards the toes. If you can't touch those toes, touch those knees, touch your shins and bring the head down. And let's hold it for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. All right, fantastic job. So get your workout in, get your cardio in, and please, please, please try to eat as clean as possible and make sure that immune system is staying strong. Until I see you again, take care.